Does the front office like their quarterback? What do you think? <laughs> I think I think that they've underestimated their quarterback. And I know that sounds crazy, but I really do think they've underestimated their quarterback from two years ago in contract negotiations all the way through this year when they put out the statement trying to make him the highest paid player. And you look at it and you say, well, really, that's kind of not the case. I don't believe there was a – a report from Ian Rappaport last week that said the team is evaluating Kirk over the last five games. Mm-hmm. I don't believe, I know that didn't come from our team president, Bruce Allen. I don't know if it did come from someone in the organization. I don't, because you, you never really want to question that. But I know it didn't come from Bruce Allen. And, so, and I also know that they're not really evaluating his last five games. They, they know who he is. Well, I mean. But they, who, I, just, they who, don't, like, so, I don't so, think, so here's the deal. Sorry, I'm, I know I cut you off. So here's the no, deal. no, go for it. Jay hasn't paid a quarterback. Bruce hasn't paid a quarterback. Dan hasn't paid a quarterback. Eric Schaefer, who does their contracts, has never really paid a quarterback. I, don't, I think they're underestimating the gravity of what the quarterback position is going to be paid. Well, I mean, they're paying him some of the most out there. and they're, I mean, the amount of money that Kirk has made over the last two years, if they had decided to sign him long-term two years ago, they could have been paying him less guaranteed. But, I mean, that, that horse has already left the barn. Who Chris Cooley here on the Rich Eisen Show? Who is Kirk Cousins? And that that's this. Uh, let me let me finish the setup to the question in this way: the guy who made two incredible throws in Seattle to win that game and pull it out, right? Uh, mm-hmm. The guy who lit up in in the uh, in the Superdome to go up fifteen on Drew Brees, and that wasn't his fault that he handed it off three times uh, in the one lone possession in between the two Drew Brees touchdowns. He did get them in a position to win that game. Or is he the guy that couldn't finish against Philadelphia in Week One, or the guy who couldn't, who barely uh, beat a Giants team that, who knew at the time was moving on from from uh, from Eli? Who is Kirk, then, Chris? He was so this year. Kirk, I think, has been his best year. I think he's grown. I think he's played with with really a lack of a group around him as opposed to what he's had in the past. Kind of consistently battled through his other guys getting hurt, made plays. He, he's he's got a new play caller in Jay Gruden, and, and it's the same verbiage offensively. Here's where he's really grown. He's grown in the areas that he he lacked over the last couple of years more than I've more than I've really expected. He's making off schedule plays. He's scrambling. He's finding the the deep throw down the field more times than not, which I think is actually really important. Uh, last year. For example, his yards per attempt were downfield were most in the league. Like his, his, he threw the ball per completion more downfield than any quarterback in the league. So can be somewhat skewed statistically, but this year truly, Rich, he, he's not missing things downfield. And I watch it close. I watch every game on film, like all your guys. He doesn't miss much. He's been... He's been really, really good. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.